Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is October 17th, and we are in Tampa, Tampa Florida. Florida. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're just here having a little day for ourselves in the middle of a week, but you know, we have like a really great schedule, so we can do that. We actually have a um, spooky story time to tell you guys, so uh, let's get uh, comfortable over here. Oh wait, I love, we're like peanut butter and jelly. <gasps> That's cute, we have to take a picture. That's really cute. Peanut butter and jelly time. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, um, last night um, I booked an Airbnb and you know, it was like pretty cheap, you know, $75 for like two nights. And we start driving, like I've never been in Tampa other than Gasparilla, which I was on a bus and very distracted, so I didn't know where I was. So like, I don't know like anything about Tampa. I don't know like what the areas are like or anything. So we start driving and it's like really sketchy part of town. And we're like, oh, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Like our Airbnb is gonna be fine. We get there, like the outside, you know, it was like kind of like sketchy. And then we, when we get in, like, it's, like, really sketchy. <laughs> and then, like, Laura was, like, turn on the light. And I tried to turn on, and, like, it was unplugged, and it was just a little spooky. And we couldn't even find an outlet. <laughs> like, we literally had to, like, I really do wish, everything with our flashlight. I really wish that I took pictures because, like, you should have. Like, I really we, should we were have. so scared, though. We yeah. were like, we need to get out of here. Yeah. And I was like, you know, me being me, I was like, well, damn, like, we're going to lose all this money. We should just sleep here. <laughs> But also, like, I'm scared shitless. I also think that, like, because we got, we arrived at nighttime, like, at, like, 11 o'clock. So, yeah. we couldn't see what it looked like in the day. Right. So, that might have, like, shifted our opinion if we mm -hmm. came in the day. Yeah. But since we came at night and, like, yeah. no one was on the road, like, it was really scary. Like, yeah. And we get in there, none of the lights are working. Like, it was just bad. So literally in the Airbnb, we're like, what do we do? Like download hotel now or hotel tonight or something like that. One of those apps I've heard about. And um, we found a place for like 63 a night, which like wasn't bad. But I was just like, oh. Damn, yeah, you like know? we lost all our money in like, the other place. Yeah. And I mean, it wasn't like too bad, but like, I mean, we live and we learn. Now yeah. I know not to get like super cheap Airbnb. Like there's probably a reason that it's so cheap. Mm -hmm. So... And it's yeah. always good to go with your instinct. If you yeah. don't feel safe, yeah, don't do it. Yeah. So we're currently at One Gate by Wyndham, which is like super nice. Like we got in here and we were like, upgrade. I know we were we were like, wow, what if we like, would have stayed God. there? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I had the best sleep last night, and it was just amazing. So we are all safe. At least I caught us in the Halloween spirit. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Oh, and the blinds, like, did you see how, like, they were, like, broken? No. Okay, so the blinds, like, <gasps> there were, like, a bunch of, what are the, like, the individual blinds, right. like, off? Mm. And I was like, oh, my God, I could totally feel someone just, like, looking at mm. me. That's creepy. Yeah. Oh, and then when we were trying to, like, get out, because, like, there was a key <laughs> box. So, um, we wanted to, like, return the key, because, like, we weren't going to stay there. And so we were trying to get out, and literally the door would not freaking like yeah, open. like I was opening it like so hard and yeah. it wasn't working and I was like, oh my god, this is how I'm gonna die tonight. Uh huh. And like and I, I looked on the floor and there were like scrape marks from yeah. the door. Like and I was like, oh my god, he's gotten so many young girls. Like we're next. Yeah. So um, yeah, kind of funny, not funny because it was like kind of serious at the time. But like <laughs> now we look back and we're like, we're good now, <laughs> you know. But yeah, so that's our story time. We have a super super fun day ahead of us. Um, the reason why we're here in Tampa is because I got a video gig. Like I said in like my p previous vlogs, um, I did some videos for the station, which is like a new apartment complex in the UCF area. And they have like a bunch of sister companies. So the one that I'm filming for is the standard at USF. I think they're opening one around here. And so I'm filming their reveal event. I'm so honored that they wanted me to come all the way to Tampa to film for them, you know, cause like, that means they liked my work, they liked, you know, me, Ew. so, I don't know, that makes me really, really happy, and I'm very excited to film it, but I also get super freaking nervous before, like, big events, because it's just, like, a little bit stressful, like, oh my god, what if, like, your SD card gets mm -hmm. formatted, because that happened to me on a project recently, and I was just being dumb, I wanted to, like, delete the previous, like, pictures, 
but I formatted my card and I was just, just like not thinking. Or like, what if your camera dies, which I have like 100 million backup batteries. So like, it's so important to be prepared during like big events like that. So I think our first stop is gonna be Armature Works. I don't really understand that name. Like, I still like don't care. I thought you said armature chair the first time. I was like, okay, <laughs> furniture place. I'm dumb. No, like armature work. So apparently, it's kind of like a Pond City Market vibe in Tampa. So we're hoping there's like breakfast places there because it's like currently <clears throat> eleven something. Yeah. Eleven, yeah. and we haven't eaten so. So we are at Armature Works. We got here and the parking lot was like super full and it's crazy because it's like a Wednesday and a random time. But it's really cool. It definitely reminds me of Ponce City in Atlanta. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little so there's currently a lot of construction going on, but we just finished at Armature Works and we took a couple pics. And we're trying to take as many pictures in different outfits as we can just to get content because we're just like both really into Instagram and like blogging and stuff. So it helps us out when we just like, you know, go, go for it and like plan out our outfits and do it all in one day since like our makeup's already done, you know. So now we're at Hyde Park Village and it's really cute. It's just like a shopping, eating kind of thing. There's so much construction going on and apparently it's been like this for two years because Laura came here two years ago. But we're gonna go to Bar Taco. Did I already say that? I don't know, I'm confused. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to Bar Taco. Laura's never been, but it's really good food and they have such good sides, so I'm very excited. So we are on our way to St. Petersburg, Florida, and it's about a 30 minute drive from where we were at Hyde Park Village. We're gonna go to the Salvador Dali Museum, which looks so freaking cool on the outside, so I'm really excited to show you guys. And we're gonna do another outfit change. Hell yeah. We made it to St. Petersburg, and it's so pretty. I think it's like prettier than Tampa, and the downtown is better than Orlando's. Yeah, I wish Orlando had like a pretty downtown like this, but. We are here at the Salvador Dali Museum. I don't know if you can see it in the back, but the water, it is so pretty. Check it. I love this location for photos, but I feel like it's so chill and everyone's actually like, like admiring, the art. admiring the art. And I feel so bad because we're just like now yeah. here taking instas, <laughs> but I mean, hey, like Instagram is an art too. So technically we're art artists, so right? Good. So we were saying bye to St. Pete and going back to Tampa because of my video gig. Um, the ride back to Tampa is literally like an hour and 10 minutes and coming here was like 30 minutes. So 
definitely didn't think that through that it was like rush hour and as you can see we're we're sweating we're, we're blotting right now <laughs> i need that so that took forever literally like more than an hour probably an hour and 20 minutes and that's like more than halfway home to Orlando, if you think about it. It's currently six right now. We're gonna get five guys for dinner and hopefully we can do a little mini mukbang. Mukbang? Mukbang? Yeah, I don't know. back at the hotel. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get this bread. Bun bread. Get it? We just got five guys. Okay. So I got a little cheeseburger because Laura got one. Yeah, I got a cheeseburger. And then Cajun fries because they're really good. I feel like embarrassed to eat on camera. Oh, I love eating on camera. I like watching myself. Mm. Okay, we all have our things we love. Um. <laughs> Wait, do you remember when we used to live together? Yeah. And you walked in on me eating in front of my mirror? I kind of think I do. Yes, you were sitting at your desk and I was like... And I was like having... Oh, I guess that makes myself. sense then. She's fucking weird. <laughs> we wrote down some things we wanted to talk about chat about okay so we wanted to give like a review on our whole tampa situation so far because we still have tomorrow yeah so basically this morning we went to armature works um i think pond city is definitely better i'm a little biased um but like armature works was super cool inside like just like the furniture and everything like mm -hmm. every place had its own like really cool furniture but other than that it was really small and we didn't really see anything that we wanted to eat um so it's like a very very nice version of um east end market in or well, like way bigger like way bigger like, way beautiful tiny. or if that's a word but i feel like every city has something like that like mm -hmm. you have pond city market and then in new york i know there's like chelsea market which is huge which i is really it. like that it's so big though mm -hmm. mm. what drink did you get so i mixed unsweet tea and sweet tea <laughs> i got fanta but five guys has those machines with like all the sodas you can ever dream and i thought it was the best invention ever but now it's annoying because it's so watered down like i tried to get sprite and i tried it and it was like literally like watered down sprite and even this fanta is like watered down but i'm like super picky with like my like um carbonated drinks like i want them to like kill my like mm, with the first like, sip when you're like Ooh, you know, like, <laughs> I love that when I drink Sprite and, like, I know it's a good Sprite, you know? But I can tell when it's from those stupid-ass machines. This burger's good. Um, it? Yeah. I've never gotten their, like, actual burger, so I wonder how big they are. Because mm. this is a mini. Mm. And the french fries, they always mm -hmm. give us so much. Um, So Hyde Park was kind of something that reminds me of, like, Avalon back home. It's just, like, a cute shopping area. And I don't know, I feel like it's... A little overrated it is okay i okay. don't like it i feel bad for saying that because like everyone was like hyde park village like you have to go it's like equivalent to winter park like it's cute it's so small <laughs> i think it's prettier than winter park but smaller than winter park buddy brew was actually really cool i've heard a lot about it and that was not what i was expecting for some reason mm -hmm. i didn't think it was like aesthetic i thought it was like laid back like more um mm -hmm. Like, the Armature Works mm -hmm. furniture, I thought it was, like, that. Like, not, like, super trying hard. I did not know that. Like, I guess I've never seen uh, pictures of it. I just have heard of it. But, um, yeah, so that was really cool. We took really cool pics there. And then we went to Bar Taco. Um, well, was and good. it was her first time, so, like, what did you think? Mm, it was good, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, that's so amazing for the price. Right. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, each taco mm -hmm. is, like, very different. Like, I got a chicken taco, but it had, like, pineapple on it. And I was like, what? But it was good. Yeah. And I think, like, it's the whole um, ambiance, too, mm -hmm. that comes with it. And it's really cute. Especially if you sit outside. Oh, we should have done that. Yeah. But it was really but hot. But it was really hot. hot. So I was like, mm. And the AC felt really, really nice. So, one thing that I probably would have changed about today would have been we should have went to St. Pete like early in the morning to get mm -hmm. it over with 
and then drove back because yeah. like we got stuck in rush hour and I didn't even think about it like yeah. I don't know why I planned it like that but tomorrow we're going to Oxford Exchange and I'm really pumped for that so me too fam I'm gonna brighten it up a little it's getting a little dark outside it's golden hour Ooh, it really is oh my gosh oh my we are God. inside eating cheeseburgers which is the best way spend going there and we have like a view of the I sun know. <laughs> nice. what was your favorite thing we did today um like favorite location hmm i think like our first round of photos were really really cute because like i've never seen that part we went to um armature works armature works and it was like cute whatever and <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. Um, mine was the Dolly Museum. I thought it was really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot to do that. Mm hmm Because we were in the car for so damn long. Um, yeah, that was really cool. But I wish we could have stayed longer in St. Pete because mm -hmm. it was really pretty. So, I have some bad news. What? I have some tea. Not really tea, but bad news. Um. Oh, I have some tea. Oh. Do you? Oh, you actually have tea. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. Okay. Well, anyways, the bad news is Laura's leaving me in, like, freaking two months. Like, literally moving to New York and leaving me and peacing out. And she's insane. I am insane. It's fine. Um, if you read her blog, then you would know that she's moving to New York. Mm hmm And chasing after her dream, which is so freaking cool of her. You're so nice. But People are like, girl, you're a crackhead. <laughs> Talk more about your New York move and shit. Okay, so I'm obviously in college. I'm studying advertising public relations, and the majority of like jobs mm -hmm. in that field are based in New York. So that's like one reason why I really want to go. Mm -hmm. um, another reason is just like I really love New York City. It's like awesome, and then also like the whole fashion industry is there, and right. I feel like I want to end up somewhere in fashion like yeah. maybe doing advertising or PR for them mm -hmm. like for a brand um so yeah so like I literally just went for it I booked a one-way ticket with my boyfriend and I have like no job as of right now no apartment <laughs> book but it's like literally fine <laughs> hopefully it's fine it will be it will be law of attraction I'm graduating next spring and the intent to graduate for me just came out it Whenever you get your intent to graduate, it's it scary. feels so good. Oh. I was so Wait, happy. what do you have to do? Is like a long process or is it like press button here? I think, I don't know if it's different for each major, but oh. what I had to do is like, they send me the thing, you click your intent to graduate and you put in like your information, like hmm. your your email right. okay. and your new address where you want your stuff to be sent to. Y'all probably know this, but I'm taking two classes this semester and two next semester. And like people always give me the look that they're like, what the heck, like, what are you doing with your life kind of thing? <laughs> but the thing is, I literally took, every summer I would take two or more summer, like, summer classes. And so, obviously, I'm going to be, like, ahead. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, if I take summer classes every single year. And I started before people even started college. Like, I did summer B and I took two summer classes then. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it makes sense that I'm ahead. Yeah, that's, that's the cute. same with me. Like, I took five summer classes this past summer, mm -hmm. and I'm only taking two my graduating semester. Right. You choose where you want to put your hardworking years. Yeah. And senior year, I kind of want to focus my self on experience outside of the oh, classroom. Oh, of course. Yeah. So, and that's why I have an internship this year, and I'm, you know, trying to, like, focus on getting my brand together just because... I know when I get a job, I won't have that time. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important for right now because as you see, like I'm trying to post like two times a week and I've literally never done that. Like I thought that was impossible a year ago. I was like two times a week, mm -hmm. how do people do that? Like, I don't know, I, I can't edit like that fast. Yeah. Just because sometimes like I want my quality to be better and I want to put all this effort in. But me and Laura were talking about that the other day that YouTube, like, you don't even have to put in effort anymore, which is good and bad because, like, I love videography so much that I want to show very aesthetically pleasing things, mm -hmm. and, like, nobody even cares about that anymore on YouTube, which sucks because, like, you're putting out all your effort, and, like, no one cares, and, like, people that 
can literally vlog on their iPhone and just set it and just talk and, and then, get like yeah. 5 million views. Which is like great for them and like not hating on them because like I wish that was me. Obviously mm -hmm. I'm jealous. I just want people to like appreciate the quality, you know? That's all. I appreciate it. Because I love seeing quality content. There's not that much out there anymore, yeah. you know? Clickbait. Thoughts on YouTube. <laughs> Spilling the tea on these haters. Spilling the tea. So I kind of want to explain like ourselves kind of thing. I don't know if that sounds weird. But so we like love to take pictures. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like a thing we like to do. And like I know not everyone's like that. And like let's get this straight. Not everyone's like that. And you can like love your stuff and I can love my stuff. But it's like you, you shouldn't judge. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, for sure. I don't know. It's just like what we like to do. And... I don't know, like, we blog about it, we post about it on our Instagrams, and that's just kind of, like, our brand, and I don't know, I feel like it's more understanded these days, um, but anyways, so that's why we change outfits so much, like, and I don't want people to think we're, like, very, what's it called, like, like, vain or, like, conceited? No, like, not appreciating, like, where we're at, or, like, not appreciating, like, you know, the Dolly Museum when we were, like, taking Instagrams, like, and not admiring the art, you know, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, because obviously we like appreciate everything around us but like also like we love we love to put our passion like yeah mix it in with whatever we're doing yeah and another thing too is like I feel like people think that we spend 50 million hours mm. taking pictures but like we make memories out of it too. yeah yeah it's not just like we're taking pictures to be like taking pictures like we yeah. enjoy the process and we yeah, make memories I agree we, it. we enjoy like because if we weren't taking pictures we probably wouldn't have gone to all those places we yeah. probably would have been like oh let's go to this one and this one and that call it a day you mm -hmm. know but like I don't know so we got to go to like a lot of places and like see it and stuff I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but um also it's great to get content all in one day because hello you don't have to do your makeup like 500 times I in a month and you have content to post and like I know it's not that serious for everyone it's really not and I know a lot of people do judge me but I just want to tell you guys that everyone has their thing that they love and this is my thing that I yeah. love you know and I'm not gonna judge you for the thing you love exactly and you shouldn't judge me for the let's thing I love. all be non-judgmental <clears throat> haters because it's it's hard to be non-judgmental I will say that you have a little bit of judging in your heart mm -hmm. and everyone does it's really hard not to but just tell yourself, like, oh, you know, that's something she loves. Like, sometimes, like, I think something's weird that someone does, and, like, but, like, she loves it, you yeah. know? Like, that's, like, just, that's just who she is, mm -hmm. you know? So, as you guys know, I'm filming that event. I'm, like, really nervous because, I don't know, like I said, I just get really nervous before these events. But we're all good because we have, like, five backup batteries, so we should be good with that. The only thing that I'm worried about is that if it's going to be, like, too dark in the mm -hmm. event space. Mm. Did you bring lighting? Well, I brought like a light, but you can only put it on your like camera, camera. like stick it in the flash. And my little camera doesn't have it. Mm. It doesn't have that like stick it in kind wow. of thing, slide in. So, did you bring your big camera? I did, but you don't know if you're gonna use it. No, because the stabilizer can't hold it. So it's either stabilized, you know, low lighting or good lighting. No shaky stable, yeah. <laughs> shaky footage but i mean like everything's probably going to be slow-mo anyway so we will see how it goes and that's probably why i have to like set up a little bit early just to mm -hmm. figure out like the lighting that's situation true. so i hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang or mukbang let's let's google this <laughs> wait let me shove this in my mouth real quick yeah all right this is make it or break it how you say the word We hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang, and we will see you guys tomorrow for Oxford Exchange. Good morning, guys. We are coming to you live from the Tampa River Walk, and I'm gonna be honest. I saw some like cute areas on like you know Google and stuff. I don't know where those are, <laughs> but we're just gonna make do with what we have. I have to take a picture um, for VS Pink because I'm like a brand ambassador for them for like three months. And then we're going to go to Oxford Exchange.
All right, guys, Laura said I'm gonna scream when I see the bathroom. That's pretty cool, whoa. Whoa. This is really cool. Amazing. Oh, this mirror is so cool. I mean, obviously it's like dirty, but for a reason, you know? Piece of art. Even the toilets look so cool. So this unfortunately concludes our Tampa trip, which is kind of sad, but you know, it was it was fun while it lasted. We did like everything that, you know, we wanted to do. Yeah, that was recommended. So thank you guys all for your recommendations. I know I asked some of you guys on Instagram and I got a lot, um, but yeah, we have a two-ish hour drive back home, like one hour and 45 minutes. Um, and I think we were gonna stop somewhere to get water because we're dehydrated. Yeah. If you guys want to see more pictures from this trip, then there will be a blog post link in the description below. And yeah, go ahead and read that and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.